Hi, so we're here today interview for the UK Lexington team. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Blake Dirk and I'm the Double Democrat candidate for Commonwealth South. So, how will you ensure youth issues are represented in Commonwealth South? Well, I think one thing to remember is, um, as a Westminster uh, candidate to become a member of Parliament, um, it's a question of us taking um, particular issues to Parliament in, in Westminster in London. And I think in terms of representing um, youth issues, there's one, it's one thing for an MP to talk on behalf of the people, but I think it's always much more powerful for young people and, and different groups to talk for themselves. And so that's why Liberal Democrats are supporting lowering the voting age down to 16 and 17. And I think that's the most powerful thing we can do, is to allow young people to speak for themselves and then when they need support and they have particular issues they want to advocate on, um, talking to us and uh, supporting them uh, and have that with the voice. What will you do to improve youth participation in politics in the next month? One thing I would like to do, and I haven't seen um, too much of it in the media locally, is for obviously every area has a member of the youth parliament, uh, and uh, once a year the youth parliament actually meet in the chamber that has the commons. So I'd like to work a little more closely with the members in the community area, um, young people that have been elected by their peers to uh, represent them. And one thing that I've had a um, chance to be a part of is something called the Patchwork Foundation. And they have a master class which they have um, opportunities for young people to meet leading politicians and talk to them and get the skills and the abilities they need to go and do things in different careers and politics. So I would like to set up locally a leadership program that talk about specific education mm -hmm. and enable young people to have those opportunities and abilities that they can use in any line of work, um, but also thinking about entering politics, doing their politics and have that representation from the um, Coventry has a real youth unemployment problem. What are you going to do differently to make sure that new jobs are created in the area and people stay here? One of the big achievements of the Democrats during the coalition government was that we were able to the number of head apprenticeships um, by um, a, a great significant number compared to previous governments. So we would like to double apprenticeships um, during the next parliament. And I think in terms of Coventry itself, um, looking over the next five or so years, one of the biggest issues which we're talking about at the selection is this Brexit and leaving the European Union. And in terms of protecting jobs for young people and having a healthy local economy where you can have different types of jobs in different sectors. It has to be you know, maintaining our membership in the single market, uh, protecting Coventry from a hard Brexit, uh, because ultimately that's what's going to enable more opportunities to be available for young people. And why should young people who can vote in Coventry South vote for you? Well, obviously I'm a Liberal Democrat candidate, um, and in terms of our, our manifesto, which is coming out next week, um, there's numerous policies which I think that can benefit young people. Um, to name a few, it's um, the Young Persons Bus Pass, uh, that is going to be two thirds um, discounted bus fare for um, all young people from uh, 16 onwards. Um, and of course, there's other things, whether it be uh, mental health um, and being able to have uh, access to a um, like psychiatrist um, and psychological support um, within um, a short amount of time. Um, and just having a quick think. Uh, yeah, I think that they're the few policies we um, yeah, talk to you about. Thank you.